quite a gear loadout video, huh? Stay tuned. What's up everybody? Chris here with Outdoors with Chris. That's what I'm calling my channel now. Tell you what, if you got an idea for a name for my channel since it's just starting out, post a comment. You might consider it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with Outdoors with Chris or something a little different, but something I haven't done yet is un unpacking videos, show you some of my gear loadouts. Show you what's in my pack. First things first, got my uh, chair here that I took on the trip. Chair I got from Academy Sports. I actually fit great on the outside of the pack and uh, I like a pack kickstand to keep her upright because on this pack I did a curved bottom similar to what's on the own. My Reflexix pad, you know, I use it as a, a ground sheet cushion if uh, there's rocks or logs sit on by the campfire. And also it's a secondary insulation. I can stick it between those layers of the Blackbird XLC uh, in case I'm at the lower rating of whatever quilt I got. I get it under my feet or when I got the Greylock 4. Just a real versatile piece of equipment and it's just a windshield screen that I picked up from a thrift store and actually cut the bottom part off and made uh, my koozies and stuff. So that's what's on the outside there. And then we'll go through this shovel pocket here. That's where I keep my stuff I might need to get to during the day. Here's my poop kit. Got my shovel, some hand sanitizer, toilet paper and wet wipes in there. I always bring a pack towel just in case I need to dry down or whatever. My first aid kit. Spare batteries, some uh, Aquamira tablets, and some miscellaneous first aid. Won't really go into that. I think I have some sunscreen in there, aspirin, usually some uh, Tums. Do have some bug spray in there, backup lighter, zip tie. Looks like one of my old fire starters there. A pair of gloves. Here's my main ground cloth, just a, it's a tent footprint I bought from Gander Mountain that was on sale. My phone charger, I usually keep it in a waterproof case. Just my headlamp, p -Tech headlamp. Red, bright, regular, and then bright. So three modes, three pushes of a button. Ah, uh, here's a 55 gallon contractor bag. I always bring with me. Uh, could be a makeshift pack cover, or if I need to wrap everything up in case it's really raining coming down, or in case I need a backup ground cloth or whatever. So your ah, toothbrush. It in the shovel pack. Got my ten steaks, cook kit, which is right now a Stanley pot and a uh, fancy feast stove. Here's my extra uh, alcohol. I use heat. And this trip, I did bring a saw, which came in handy for a couple little vines that were in the way. Where I usually keep my water, one of my water bottles. Uh, on some of the trips, I might take two of these. On this last trip, I just took one. I figured I'd have a liter clean. I got in my water bottle pouch over here. One of the 20 ounce deals, smart water bottle. I just like these because they're slim. They don't take a lot of girth in the pouch. Here's my Sawyer Squeeze. And here's a little uh, gelato container, which sometimes I'll keep my fire starters in that. I've got some uh, emergency sewing stuff and then a uh, magnesium striker oh, let's make a little cord I actually meant to uh, when I took the Greylock 4 out on the Cave Creek Trail I meant to take some of this it's thundering outside take some of this and do my prussic knots for it but just never got around to it on that trip get to the main pouch here and again, it's just a roll top I did to it first things first uh, my pack cover I had on the Cave Creek Trail, I just took with me just in case. Now, food bag. Uh, here's my bear bear bag kit. It's got some extra paracord. Uh, it's got my orange paracord that I hang the bear bag with. Uh, and then my good old big mamba jamba tarp from Warbonnet Outdoors. Love their stuff, man. So I got that inside of some snake skins in there. Got those snake skins from uh, Jeff Myers on Hammock Forums. He did a great job making those. Uh, I always do a pack liner. It's just a, a compactor bag. We'll get into that. Here's my clothes for the trip. 
Next is my War Bonnet Blackbird XLC, my hammock. Love this hammock. I took a little polyester puffy jacket. Uh, I actually wound up not wearing this one. I think Robin wore this one on the, this trip. My fleece pullover was plenty for me for the trip. Oh, next up, my DIY under quilt that I had on this trip. That was the uh, one made from military sleep system. Sleeping bag. Got my sleeping bag, which is a Eureka 30 degree bag. I use as my top quilt. About it, actually. And my pillow. It's a field and stream pillow. It goes in the bottom. And that's my gear. That's the bag, man. Other than that, I just had a uh, my knife. And my bandana. Got a whistle. A little tick remover and then a compass thermometer combo thing. So that's it. That's my gear loadout for that trip. I guess that's it. So that's my gear. Not too complicated. I try to keep it simple. It's definitely scaled down since my first trip. I think my first trip I uh, pack was probably weighing around 50 60 pounds so i'm really happy to get it down closer to the uh 25 and 30 mark so hope you enjoyed the video again if you do and like the videos you know like comment subscribe love to hear your comments questions suggestions uh, what you enjoyed about the videos what you didn't enjoy i guess but thanks for watching and have a good hike